Hi everybody, welcome to The Dallas Show. My name is Dallas Ray and today we have another very special guest and a dear friend of mine. Please welcome... Oh, oh ha! <laughs> Octor! Yeah. I, like, I like that. See, it says it says oh. the J is French, so it's silent. So, it's just, so it was a two-parter in my head, and it took just a little bit longer than I thought it was going to be. Joe, welcome to the Dallas Show. What do you think so far? Thank you. I love it so far, um, except that game. Dead. Yeah, we did a Dead. warm-up, and it was a lot of difficulty. I'm not good at puns. Um, not when I'm on the spot. I can't do them. We're I all good at puns when we do it in real time, not when we're pressured to. Yeah, it's not fun. All right. So, Joe, the reason that I, I brought you on today was because um, you do a lot of acting. Yes. Um, a lot of us here do a lot of acting, but ours is more stage acting. You do a lot more film acting. Mm -hmm. So I kind of wanted to pick your brain about some film acting stuff. So what got you interested in film as opposed to doing more stage stuff? So I think what got me most interested was when I was really little and it was going to the movies. Like the first time I remember going to the movies, I think it was a... It was like a second run theater, but it was when Toy Story was around the time that came out. And my grandma took me and my sister, and it was just go the whole experience of going to the movies, watching it on the big screen. And even though it's like an animated movie, like, and it's, you don't see it, it's not real people. Yeah. But uh, it was just so much fun and the whole experience. And I was like, I really like this stuff. Like, I want to know more about this. And so when we were, like, growing up, like, we did a bunch of, like, dumb skits. Uh, we did, like, mock Mori shows that no one will ever see, ever not they're not good um and we did like a dumb like nightmare in elm street like spoof whatever and it was just you know it was fun and then it was after college because i had just kind of focused behind the scenes stuff when i was in college i ended up doing like this student film and i was like oh i want to be an actor in this like i haven't done that in a while and it ended up being a lot of fun and i was like i want to do this forever how do i do this in ohio and just kind of like reached out to people that i knew that went to la and they were like, Google and Facebook. Like, literally start there. Google and Facebook. And then ever since, it's just kind of research. Yep. And yeah. like, Google and Facebook's where I've got a lot of the, the jobs that I've had in acting in Columbus yeah. so far. Right, too. It's yeah. just a lot of theater groups or uh, theater enthusiasts that post a lot of stuff that's like, come audition for mm -hmm. this. We need uh, people for this. We need to do, you right, know, whatever. Yeah. So that's kind of nice. So um, do you do most of your acting in, I know you're, you're kind of all over. Do you do... Yeah. What brought you to Columbus? Or, like, are you from around Columbus, or...? No, I'm not from around Columbus. I live about two hours away. Um, so most of the stuff that I do is in Cleveland. But what brought me to Columbus was actually the show where we met. Uh, it's all been on Radio Hour. Uh, that was an audition that, like, I had kind of been saving because I had started doing auditions maybe, like, a few months before that. And I was just, like, looking at a bunch of different... Uh, from, like, the Cleveland Film Commission site and then the Columbus Film Commission site... And at that point, I was like, you know what? This looks kind of interesting. And I had like four auditions saved that I'm like, oh, I got to submit by tonight. Which one do I really want to do? Because of course, I waited till the last minute, which don't ever do. That's what we all do. Yeah, that's what we all do. It's <laughs> it, We work better under pressure. <laughs> Correct. And so whenever I was like, okay, what do I do? Which one do I do? And I was like, you know what? I want to do this voiceover one. This sounds fun. I've always wanted to do voiceover stuff. And it brought me back to the whole idea of Toy Story. I was like, you know what? This sounds like fun. And so I sat in my car with my laptop and just was like, I'm going to record these voices I've kind of had in my head, and there's two hours left to submit it. Hope this works. And then I just sent it in and said, you know what? If it happens, it happens. It doesn't, it doesn't. I was like, it's kind of a cool opportunity if it does. And then our the writer, Jim, is the one who like reached out to me and was like, hey, yeah, uh, you're going to play this recurring role and then this other role too, so you'll be down maybe a few times a month. I was like, cool. And then when we went down for the read-through... Of course, like it's it's a little sketchy at first because yep. we go in and I'm like, I know absolutely nobody. Um, this is just some guy's house. Is this legit? <laughs> Am I gonna die today? Uh, should I text my mom? <laughs> what do I do? And then it was like, okay, everyone else was just as nervous and like we don't know anybody. There was like a few people that did, yep. and then it ended up being something that we've done now for this July will be four, four, four years. years. <sighs> Wow, time. time. Yeah, time flies. <laughs> Shit. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So that's kind of what brought me to Columbus. And then any time or any chance I get, I can just do anything down here now. Now that I know you guys that like to do these things, it makes me very yeah. happy. And See, I found my IABD audition on Craigslist. Um, so mine was oh, had just an extra level of like 
sure, I'm going to show up to some guy's house. It'll be fine. And then I got there and was like, it seems like a nice place. I don't think I'll get murdered here. And then as soon as people started talking who knew each other, I was like, I am the odd man out. I want to leave immediately. <laughs> Glad I didn't. Met a lot of really cool people. Yeah. Um, so when you, you've done, I've seen you post a lot of projects that you've done. Do you ever get, do you feel like you ever get typecast as a certain character? Because I know, like, for me, when I do stage stuff, it's usually sassy monologues. Yeah. <laughs> That's usually well, when I get stuck. You are so sassy. You're I very do sassy. My best. Um, yes and no. Um, I feel like I usually end up being, like, the really nice guy all the time. And it's kind of like, okay, like, it's great because you actually, it's better to follow along what your type is. Well, at least when you're starting out because then you know what your type is. You're more likely to get cast in these roles. And then once you actually build kind of a repertoire of what you've done, then you can be like, okay, I want to do this really serious role and mm -hmm. play this someone who's like a, a drug addict that's just off the rails and not happy. And so it's kind of at a point where I'm just like, okay, I'm going to be playing these ha these happy good guys for a while. Have you played a meth person yet? Have you done? No, I have. I because okay. I'm really tall and thin. Um, I've been called in a lot just for drug addicts. <sighs> Lucky. <clears throat> And I'm like, should I do the method route and just like somehow be like, hey, let me go and do some drugs real Me quick. Method. <laughs> Can I just walk off the set now? Bye, Joe. It was nice to see you. Bye. Yeah, thanks. I'm done. Method is so God. close to meth head. That yeah, was there was... Two see, points. but see, I'm not that clever, so I can't do that off the top. Meth head acting. It's just a lot of scratching and you gotta punch a tooth out. I've heard. Um, so... <laughs> While we're on this roll, um, so I've got, I want to ask you, between these might be able to help you, these tools might be able to help you, so I've got two little tongue twisters that might help, so you, I want you okay. to figure out which one might be better. So there's, the typical one is like red leather, yellow leather, yes. okay. Mm -hmm. Would you prefer that one, or M&M got an M&M enema? Ooh, because I haven't done that one, I kind of want, yeah. Try it. Okay. M&M, mm -hmm. like the rapper, mm -hmm. got an M&M mm -hmm. enema. Yeah. Like Eminem an M &M. got an Eminem Nemina. Nope. Oh, damn it. Okay. Eminem got an Eminem Emina. Nope. What? Okay, so say it again. Enema. Enema. No. Oh, em and I said Emina. M &M oh, okay. Enema. All right. Eminem got an Eminem Enema. Yeah. Okay. That was okay. Eminem yep. got an Eminem Enema. Eminem got an. <laughs> Eminem got an Eminem Emma. See ya. You'll be doing meth in no time. Yeah. <laughs> so, correct me if I'm wrong, you are on Netflix. Correct. Yes, I I think maybe. You've done what what movie did you do? So that you are... I because it shot in Cleveland. Uh, it was uh just background work. Um, which I recommend everybody kind of do if they want to even get into film acting. Be try and sign up to be in background, be an extra because you kind of it's a lot of waiting. Uh, you meet a lot of great people, but you get to be on set and you kind of get to see the layout of how like a set really works you get to spend eight hours being in 13 seconds of movie exactly yeah you spend sometimes we only get to be extra <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, that, that kind of is sad so anyway but sorry you're not yeah movie. so it was called little evil um it had adam scott and evangeline Lilly in it um and the day i was there i all i knew was that they took us into a church and so there's a scene for like five seconds where I'm just kind of standing there, like, praying and reading something like it's the end of the world or something. I I honestly haven't seen the whole movie. I I won't lie. I did this. I forwarded to where I thought it was going to be. And I said, awesome. I was like, that's me. I'm in it. And then I was that like, was it? and then I'm like, I'll get back to watching this. And that was a few years ago. I think we, Cody and I tried to watch it. I mean, we watched, he was watching it. He was like, oh, I think this is the one that Joe said he was in. And we tried to find you. And I think. I think we, we did find we found It's you. for maybe a second, maybe, but I was still like, hey, that's me. I was Netflix really excited. Credit. Yeah. Awesome. That's amazing. Yeah. Joe, where can people find you? Where can they find me? They can find me all over social media. Um, all my handles, I'm pretty sure, on Instagram and Twitter are at Average Joe Life, and life is spelled with a Y instead of an I, because why not? I was really excited to say that, and I haven't gotten to say it out loud yet, so... That made me very happy. And on that note, we're going to end <laughs> things here. Thank you, Joe, for coming out. You're not leaving entirely yet because we're about to do a little game I'd like to call What the Smell? Oh. Yay. Always text your mom when you go on a sketchy acting audition or job. Da, 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 da.
All right, and we are back. Are you ready to play what did I say it's called? What the, what smell? the smell? There we go, yeah. I think right. that's... Forgot the name. This is going to be good. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we are going to be presented with a candle. We will be blindfolded, and we have to smell that candle and see if we can guess what color that candle is based on the smell. But we get a bonus point if we can name the exact scent of that candle. Are you ready for this? No, but okay. Let's get to it. Don't say anything. Okay. Oh, wait. Right. <laughs> <laughs> what do I do? My hands are out. <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> I, color, I feel like it's at least maybe a red. I want to say it's just red. Because I don't even know what shade it is. Where is it at? Are we allowed to smell it again or no? No. Okay. Shh. Smell, maybe cranberry? I don't know. Is that a candle? Everything's a candle. <laughs> yeah. And name. Cranberry curtains. <laughs> oh. <laughs> don't Google that. All right. I was going to say red, so I'll say maroon. I'll say darker oh. red to really split oh, okay. this here. I too was gonna say cranberry, Ooh. but I'll go with raspberry. I'll make, I'll shake it up here. Okay. I'll go with raspberry, and my guess for the name is Christian Sunset. Oh, that's an actual candle name. Oh, it's more of a burgundy. It's, yeah. So what is it? It's just black cherry. Black cherry. Oh, just black cherry. <sighs> All right. I don't know anything about vodka. Neither did Jesse. He knows okay. that. He's passing it to you. Oh, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> what is this? Bird box. Yeah, There's our joke. Oh, oh, here. Bird box. Oh wait. Oh, you already. Oh, you already smelled it. Yeah, I'm a very silent smeller. Obviously. I'm gonna say that that is a white candle, and it smells really close to laundry. So I'm gonna say some sort of. Oh, I'm gonna say linen. I, okay, I was thinking that it's kind of like a, I mean, kind of white, but off-white, like almost closer to yellow. And I was thinking it smelled like wood. So like a forest. So I'm thinking pine forest. Wow. Oh, both right. Oh, I was going to say lavender. Oh, it's obviously a, what the, blue high, how do you say that? High, high, high. Hyacinth. hyacinth. What is hyacinth? It's a flower. Is it just a flower? Oh, okay. Um, I think it's a light blue. I think this one smells like linen. Or laundry. So I'm gonna say this one's linen. Okay, so I thought this one was green and smelled like a forest. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna say green. I'm gonna say... Pine orgasm. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, no. Rustic pine. I hate you. <laughs> Pinot Rustico. I think that one is a white candle and that smells like some kind of cotton or linen. That one's laundry again. What's Not the name? Oh, um, oh, hmm. fresh, fresh linen. Damn it, I was thinking the same thing. Yes, oh, okay. Sweet, we're allowed to guess. But, but you know what, I'll throw, I'll say light blue. And yeah, that one is definitely laundry. Um. Walmart just has a candle called laundry. <laughs> yeah, just laundry, laundry detergent. That's it. Laundry detergent. Oh, hell yeah. I, I don't know candles. Is it? Oh, like, I was going to say cotton, but it's not. What is I the mean, word it before is. it? Fresh. Fresh cotton. Oh, okay. That's laundry. I know what that is. Well, hold on now. Wait, wait, wait. Cody, you want to guide him on that one? Oh, yeah. I'll just... Yeah. Where's... Right, I got this. Okay. 
That's probably smart. I almost just stabbed Alice. Where's the there you go. Broken down here. Ooh. I think I know what that is. Oh! Well, that's I pungent. Think, I think I know what that is. If this is not right, I need to get my nose tested. Can you do that? What is that freaking smell? See, it takes you a minute, but I think... It takes me longer. It smells really good. <sighs> Son of a biscuit. <laughs> what is that smell? Okay. Oh. I'm gonna say pink, watermelon. Ah, um, oh, that was a good guess. Watermelon breeze. Come in my mouth. I wanted to say, see, I was thinking apple at first, but, oh, but mm, it, it's so watermelon. Is it pink though? It's gotta be pink. It can't be pink. If it's not pink, I'll what if it's pink and green? Oh, no, Walmart's not that fancy. Mm, I'm gonna go with green. I'll say watermelon. I'll say that it's called, what are you doing buying this candle? Dicks! What? This does is say, horse shit. Does that say purple saw? This is purple, purple sand. Oh. Also, that is very broken. <laughs> oh God, yeah, oh Jesus. <laughs> don't, the wise men are right here. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know where Jesus That's what they gave Jesus. Murr. We both got everything wrong. Everything wrong. But that smells like watermelon though, doesn't it? Kind of? Yep. Well, yeah. It smells like Apparently purple that's sand. purple sand. I think it smells delicious though. All right. That's all we have. Again, you can find Joe um, on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram at Average Joe Life with a Y instead of an I because why not? That's all we have for today. Thank you guys. You can comment and subscribe below and we hope to see you again soon. Bye! <laughs> <laughs>